So what you see here is Zenogre Blade Master right smack in the middle, in the front. And I've been meaning to do this guide for like the longest time. I, I feel like I'm like a year late or something because I had the thumbnail for this uh, ready like earlier in the year when she first came out. I always have like 20 different ideas for, for YouTube and like there's never enough time or never enough energy or, or, or whatever it is, whatever's going to have you, you know, whatever excuse. But like the point is I've got so many things on my mind that I always just want to get out um, videos. And that's why like sometimes I just never get to something and it just sits on my desk for a long time. You might be wondering like, oh, why, why does Burrito have so many random videos? Uh, that, that, this is why, because I just keep having ideas and I can't finish them. Finally getting around to this one. Champion guide, champion tutorial, showcase, whatever you want to call you. Is an ogre blade master? You can't really get her anymore because she was a limited time champion. But for those of you who do have her and you're sitting on her, this is something that you might want to consider. Um, doing hard fire knight 10. This is a slower run. I do have faster compositions. I think my fastest time on my main account is two minutes. But uh, this one, you know, it's. Uh, Especially for the Marius mission, it's just good enough that you get it done, and that's the biggest thing here. Obviously, it's ridiculous that you get 5-star gear at stage 10 of Hard Fire Knight, because Hard Fire Knight 10 is really hard. A1 is going to be a triple hitter. 30% chance of placing Weaken, pretty nice. Triple hitter, Screams Fire Knight. 4 hitter, A2, Screams Fire Knight. Each hit increases this champion's turn meter by 5%. She's going to be going fast. Also places increased speed on all allies for two turns. That's also pretty huge in the context of Fire Knight, where you want to make sure your team is going as fast as possible. And obviously, in other PvE content, she's going to be great for this buff as well. And then another four hitter. But before she attacks, she places increased attack. Leech, the third and fourth hit, have a chance of placing decreased attack as well. Leech is pretty good, especially if you want to keep your team alive. Like, you could use her in Hydra if you wanted to. I'm not too certain that she would do well, but it's something, I guess. But I don't recommend that you use her in Hydra. I don't recommend that you use her in PvP either. Increases the damage this champion deals by 1% for every 1% of HP lost, up to 50%. You can build her as a damage dealer, but I built her for utility. Increased damage doubles if a target is under decreased defense. Active. Prevents this champion's death, keeps them alive on 1 HP when hit by a fatal hit. If this skill prevents the champion's death, heals them by 50% of their max HP. Will not prevent the champion's death if they are under heal reduction. I don't know if any of you guys actually play Monster Hunter. I know I do. Uh, I've got hundreds and hundreds of hours of uh, game time. And I've done videos on it on, it's either on this channel or one of my other channels. But I intend to continue playing more Monster Hunter. But yeah, pretty cool. And even the names of uh, the moves here are names of the things in the game. 30% is pretty big, especially in the dungeons, right? So you go into Fire Knight already 30% faster. An alternative to Hard Fire Knight, if you're wondering, is going to be Razzlevark, who also does the same thing. Just a little side thing. Increase speed. I went with the Brimstone Blessing on her. The Masteries, I was working on it, and then I kind of like stopped as soon as I started, because I was like, well, I, I don't really see myself using her that much, it would be better for me to invest more into Razzlevarg over over Zenogra, which is kind of, you know, contradictory when we're talking about her in a champion guide setting. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, like, she's an awesome champion. She's pretty mid. She was a past fusion champion. Fire Knight is going to be, like, her biggest thing. Basically, what you're looking for is speed. You do want to build her fast and to hit hard as well with some accuracy. So for like Fire Knight 325 is like the minimum you would need on hard Fire Knight 10. So I built her with 334. If you could build her with 100% crit rate, some crit damage and attack, your Fire Knight runs would be faster while keeping her I think like 270 speed is like the lowest I've seen somebody do with a hard Fire Knight 10. And then, you know, survivability stats would be like a third priority. But yeah, definitely. Anybody you bring to Fire Knight, you're going to want to put some damage on them. On this gear, there's room to glyph up, but you can see we're basically focusing on speed. Just because this is where the gear is at. And yeah, but we did get a quad, quad uh, speed roll here. So in terms of 
the hard fire knight i do recommend possibly just going down to uh stage six and then running stage six so the team that you see her in right now is the double ally attack with newt and stag knight you could go in here with two newts and you know just pick one of these guys to be an ally attack but i, I don't know i feel better with uh with doing a uh double ally attack but yeah so here you're gonna see she places the brimstone that's her blessing she doesn't really hit hard because i haven't really built her to hit hard but you do see that she does hit um multiple amounts of times which is like the biggest thing for fire knight and obviously you don't have to take her to hard fire knight 10 um six is fine any hard stage that you do is going to be better than any normal stage but if you're still struggling on normal and you happen to have Zenogre, then you know you could use Zenogre to get the shield down because that's like one of the main things that you need to do and um yeah so let's go ahead and skip through to the boss here and here we are you know the the whole thing here is that it's it's just kind of weird when i really stop and think about it because like we did the fusion for her and anytime you get a fusion champion you want to make sure that they you know provide value that they they're like really good but for me zenogre doesn't really provide much and i think this was i don't know i i think it was good to bring to the community in the sense that like if you're a monster hunter fan like i am like i'm a hardcore fan um then this was pretty cool to have and anybody who was struggling with fire knight now has another option but it's just like there's also a lure you know if if the main thing is to bring down the shield then there's a lure um you can get away with you know better gear i mean that could be said about anything um i don't know like she's just what, what do you guys think because for me it's just kind of like i don't know and i could just be jaded you know what i mean like i i probably am just one of those guys who just have a plethora of champions to to cycle through but like her biggest calling card is basically the increased speed the multi-hitters and the uh the 30 percent increase in the dungeons but i don't know i, I can't even really put my my tongue on it i think i think what it is is like i i want i wanted her to be like really good because she's a monster hunter champion and I, I wanted to to like have something good especially when it's a fusion but i don't know i feel like maybe i'm reaching but i really wanted her to be more than what she is like i wanted to really like this champion but she's just okay <laughs>